and the doyen of British cooking, Delia Smith, is with us now. Uh, Delia Smith, you first started talking about sugar, um, well, back on Nationwide, which I think was about 30 years ago. It was, um, yes. And I'm wondering whether you think governments have been as serious about sugar as they have been about cigarettes. They haven't, and they don't realise that it's just as addictive as smoking or even alcohol. It's just that if you, buy, if you, if you have a piece of sugar cane straight from the, the field, it will take you probably about a week to eat it. But once that's refined down to a powder, it's a very, very concentrated substance. And I know a little bit about palates. And if you eat sugar, too much sugar, then you, you, be you, you, need to, you need it. You need to eat the sugar because you're craving for it. And I think what we need to do is educate people about what sugar is and celebrate it. It's a lovely ingredient. We all want lovely sweet things every now and again. And I also feel very, very... But every now leads to again, doesn't it? Yes. And I, I feel very strongly about, yes, there is hidden sugar in, in ready meals and, of course, and all these convenience foods. And, of course, I would say, cook at home and see what you're eating. Well, well I mean... I would, in, wouldn't in, I? <laughs> in that report, um, Tom Clark showed how the, uh, these 41 organisations have pulled out of the public health responsibility deal. Were they right? Yes. I think... Um, what I think is, is the problem, really, is not the food producers producing these kind of foods, but all the chocolate bars and all the confectionery. If I go and fill my car up with petrol, there's an advert for chocolate. All the time I'm standing filling my car up, I'm looking at this chocolate advert. Then I get into the garage and there's like walkways full of confectionery. It's on the table when I pay. But so, so what does one do? Do you tax sugar? I think maybe you could make chocolate bars more expensive, yes. But that but hits I... the poor, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, if you're stuck for a meal, it's a cho chocolate bar and a bag of crisps. Yes, but that isn't helping you. So, I mean, I would say the government needs to educate people how to cook at home and how to have really nutritious meals and know how much sugar and fat and salt they're eating. What, what about an actual tax on sugar? I mean, so that, in fact, the producers had to pay the tax on the sugar. Well, maybe that would work, I don't know. But I think educating people and trying to get them to resist being addicted to sugar... But in fairness, if you were talking about it three decades ago on television and not a lot has changed... It hasn't, no. Uh, that hasn't worked, has it? Trying well, to educate people about sugar hasn't worked. So one wonders whether, in fact, you have to do what they've done to the cigarette industry. But I don't think they've Make been sugar more drab. <laughs> <laughs> but they, ha they haven't been educated. They've not been educated. I mean, the government took cooking out of schools. People didn't know how to cook anymore. And if you don't know how to cook and you are poor, then yes, you know, a chocolate bar and a bag of crisps is what you eat. And are your hands clean? I mean, have you ever let another half teaspoon go into an ingredient when perhaps you could have avoided it? Of course. <laughs> everybody, everybody wants to enjoy something sweet and lovely. And I applaud sugar. I think it's a wonderful ingredient. But I just feel... You know, hmm. it's, it's wrong to have all these confectionery... But you see, you've got an incredibly important voice. I mean, would you call on the government to take on the sugar industry, the, the food producers, and say, come on, let us act responsibly? Yes, I would, because if we could just educate people to know, if you put somebody... If you took somebody off sugar completely for six weeks, not in drinks, not in anything, after that six weeks, they wouldn't want it so much because... They'd also natural, be thinner. Yeah, they'd be thinner. And natural food would taste much nicer. Delia Smith, thank you very much indeed for coming in. Thank you.